Hello, welcome to Yates Makes. If your drawing work, your drawing practice is getting a bit of stale, then this could be the video for you. I love the work of Jim Dine. The guy is still going strong well into his 80s. He's a fantastic artist and he is so good at recording from life real objects. So just scrolling by the screen there are some of my practice drawings inspired by Jim Dine. Let's see what we can learn from his approaches. I love this thing, look at that. Massive, great big nut. Hmm. Uh, what else have I got? Some stuff to draw with. So these are the things I'm planning to combine, maybe with a bit of white paint as well to do my final drawing. So a graphite, a couple of graphite pencils, a normal pencil, biro, biro is brilliant to draw with, and a couple of other ink pens there. So I'm going to start with some continuous line work. So I'm going to time lapse that. I'm going to try and draw all of these things in about, I don't know, two or three minutes, um, just to get warmed up. Anyway, I'll time lapse that. You can see I did a few warm-up sketches. Um, the last one I did of of the the nut started to combine. It wasn't so much a continuous line drawing, but I'd warmed up a bit and I wanted to start combining a few materials. So I combined the graphite and the biro for that one. Quite like some of those textures. So um, all I've done um, after that, I've I want to try a few surfaces to to draw on as well. So this is really my experimental page. So all I'm doing now is just with a Pritt stick, slapping a bit of Pritt stick on, found some old bits of paper, and I'm just going to have some areas of other surfaces to to draw into. So I've got a bit of bit of newspaper print there. I've got a bit of um, brown paper. So. You know, probably the first thing I'd do would maybe just redraw in um, some of those details that I've covered up, trying to remember what materials I use, but it doesn't matter too much because they're going to behave differently anyway on different surfaces. Um, so I could probably find the hammer, put the top of the hammer back in. Again, not worrying about accuracy at this point because I'm just getting a feel for my materials getting a feel for the shapes of the objects before I kind of choose one for my my final drawing um, so you know I've now got some some surface something Jim Dine does really well is he uses negative space to bring his objects forward so for example um, if we look at behind behind that hammer you know rather than worry too much about what's going on in this section of the hammer he might concentrate on the background and just develop some tone some interesting textures in the background um, that then bring the object forward so let's let's see if we can start to think about Combining a couple of materials again, a bit of graphite, bit of bit of pen. That brings that part, that section forward, because it's it's contrasting. Obviously, the the handle's quite black, so you know I probably want to get quite a heavy pen. Start messing around in there. All right, so I'm getting a a feel for my materials. You know, something else you can do once you've got some graphite down. Or once you've got an area that isn't white that you can draw on, if you have any paint, doesn't matter, it could be poster paint, it could be acrylic. Um, if you've got a Tipex pen, that could work. A Posca white pen, that could work. But just, 
um, you know, working really roughly, like behind here, if I sort of white out again, you know, that could bring the top of my hammer forward. You know, if you've got a small brush, once you start to develop some of these um, textures on the surface of your objects, you know, a little bit of white acrylic or white poster paint or a Tipex pen could be really good for, um, I'm not even looking at the object at the moment, but, um, you know, just picking out some highlights. There's a lot of metallic surfaces on these objects, so um, some highlights could look, could look really good. You get the idea. So, um... So um, that's my starting point. I'm now going to get set up. Um, first thing I'm going to do is get a new bit of paper and uh, just stick on some collage pieces just so I've got a more interesting, challenging surface to work on. Uh, you'll see me doing that, time lapse my final drawing. Um, I bet you now I end up preferring this one to the one I do. Never mind, it's all part of the same game. It's just to develop some skills. Right then, okay, that's me done. I'm just gonna end on showing you quickly my how my continuous line drawing into textural experiments kind of developed as I was making my finished or my more finished drawing. I went back to this and continued to experiment. You can see in there that I've got my uh, my uh, Pro Marker grey pen out, um, do some little grey washes. I've done a sort of rubbing on a Lego brick. Um, you know, I've used a rubber to rub out some of the background in an opposite direction to my sort of uh, sketched lines. You know, I've, I've tried all sorts, but I've, I've, more than anything, I've tried to create a bit of kind of life and action. Um, and there you go. There you see my sort of uh, more finished studied drawing I guess um, you know uh, it didn't actually take me that much longer than the experimental page I guess it probably all up just over an hour's worth of of drawing so absolutely fundamental you get that continuous line work and experimentation started and then continue it do it in tandem experiment as you go along all right good luck with it remember Jim Dine Check his work out. Try to make every drawing a little adventure. I'll see you on the next video. Take it easy.